Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I am out at the range and anytime you make it out to the range, it's going to be a great day. Now I'm working on some of my skills and <laughs> I've got some work to do. But with that being said, tall grass shooting sports is kind of my home away from home. And I wanna say thank you to Mike and Lisa Irvin for uh, allowing me to come out here and shoot. But we're not here to talk about my range. We're actually here to talk about the hearing protection that I'm using today. And these are the Walker R600. Now, um, why am I talking about these? Well, because these are new to me. Today is the very first day of me being out the range and using them. And I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience with them. Now I did buy these myself. These weren't given to me. So if you guys think that uh, I'm shilling out for Walker, um, okay, whatever, but uh, I, I bought these, all right? So there, we got that out of the way. With that being said, one of the issues that I was having is here recently, I've been testing the PSA K47 GF3 from Palmetto State Armory and I've had a problem with the stock pushing the bottom of my earmuff style hearing protection and breaking the seal. As I'm firing multiple rounds, breaking that seal, it was getting pretty painful for my ears and I don't have much hearing left to give <laughs> and my wife can contest to that. So <laughs> with that being said, I wanted to try to find something a little different. So I reached out to a friend that is fairly local to me, uh, Corinne Mosier. She is a competition shooter with Terran Tactical and a firearms instructor as well. Not to mention she is pretty much just a regular badass, right? <laughs> I really do uh, enjoy all of her content and I respect her perspective on a lot of different things. So when I reached out to her and asked her, hey, is there something different that I should be looking at? She's like, yeah, check out the Walker earbud style hearing protection is what I got going on right here. And so I looked into it. There's three different styles that they have. One has a Bluetooth option. These are the R600, so they're kind of the mid-range. And then there's a third one. And I, to be honest with you, I don't remember what um, those were all about. But I will have a link to the earbud styles down in the description below if you guys are interested in looking at them. Now, I'm not affiliated with Walker. I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. None of that jazz. Uh, I'm just trying to explain to you guys my experience. With that being said, what is your guys' experience? Sound off in the comment section when it comes to the earmuffs or the earbuds or just the earplugs. Which ones do you use and which one do you think are the best? I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. So let's talk about the pros and the cons about these that I've experienced so far today at the range, my very first day using them. First and foremost uh, was the things that I liked about them is I can put them in and just go. I don't have to worry about uh, my ears getting sweaty or hot because of the earmuffs being around them. I don't have to worry about the batteries being dead uh, because these will actually come with a docking station that you can put them in and they will recharge. The great thing about that docking station is you plug it into the wall and once it's fully charged, uh, it will recharge these four times before it will need to be recharged. So that's actually pretty cool as well. The other great thing about it is I don't have to worry about pulling an earplug out if I wanted to talk to somebody. These are electronic, so I can sit here and have a conversation with anybody and not have to worry about pulling them out and putting them back in and all that jazz. So that's really cool. Now, what are some of the downsides to these? Well. The first thing is they're fairly expensive. And for some people that may be a problem. I personally think that these are actually worth the investment, but at the same time, not everybody has the money to spend on things like these. Um, I will say that uh, since these are small, they make, them, uh, make it easy for you to toss them into your range bag and not have to worry about using too much space. But again, does that justify the cost? That's a question that you're gonna to have to ask yourself and answer yourself. To me, again, I think they're worth it, but um, maybe not for everybody. 
The other thing too is making sure that you get the fit on these done correctly. They, these will come with three different sizes of ear canal and ear lobe adjustments, small, medium, and large. And I have the small ear canal piece in and then the medium ear lobe piece on. And I'm going to have to make some further adjustments because when I was unslinging one of my rifles today, I did knock the earbud out of my ear. And if you're at a range, like an indoor range or something, and that were to happen, if you just so happen to brush it or someone brushes your ear by accident and it pops out, that could be pretty painful as well, especially if someone's next to you shooting like an AR pistol or something. <laughs> so those are some of the things that you're gonna to need to take into consideration. But at the end of the day, so far, I've really enjoyed them. They've done very well as far as uh, keeping the loud noises out. And then, uh, you know, my daughter is out at the range with me. I've been able to have conversations with her no problem without actually having to scream at her or pull my hearing protection out. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Obviously sound off in the comment section down below and tell me what has been your experience with these types of uh, hearing protection or are you just content with the ear, ear muffs or the, uh, ear, the ear plugs, <laughs> if I can get that out. I would love to hear what you guys have to say and uh, we'll see you down in the comment section. With that being said, you guys have a great week uh, whenever you're watching this. I hope you have a good day. We will catch you next time. As always, freedom through strength, and here comes a high five. Talk to you later, y'all. Bye.